Hello, this is Paul Goof with IQ Power Tools. Um, we wanted to spend a little bit of time and talk about our different blades we have for the IQ MS362. And that's our 16.5 inch blades. Um, the machine comes with this uh, black blade as kind of standard, and that's what comes on the machine. We call this our combo blade. And that blade was designed really to cut, you know, just what it sounds like, a combination of material. This is the blade we first developed, uh, you know, cutting lots of different types of material, primarily, you know, uh, concrete products, uh, you know, cinder block type products, pavers. We did tons of testing with pavers, and you know, this blade proved to be, uh, you know, really successful uh, for a majority of different types of materials. And one of the things I could show you, particularly about this blade, and really all blades is what you can expect and what you should be seeing with a blade if it's the right blade for the material. So here is one of the combo blades. You can compare the segments that's left here from new. So this blade you know, still has a little bit of life left to it, but it's almost done. And this is what I would say is a successful blade. It's been cutting the right material because it's wearing well and it's you're getting your money, your value out of this blade. So that's what you really should expect the type of wear for any blades that you're using. Uh, and that goes for dry blades as well. You should be able to wear out these segments. So the so as I mentioned, this is the first blade that we developed, the combo blade. And honestly, it was very successful. And as we released the 362, started getting out into the marketplace, we were finding that there's pockets in North America where that blade wasn't performing as well. And so we developed uh, this gray blade, which is our hard material one blade, and then we have our orange blade, which is the hard material two. Let me talk about the differences in those. The hard material one blade was really developed to cut hard brick. And uh, for example, here's some brick uh, out of Ohio, different bricks from around the country. Um, and this segment was uh, designed uh, for cutting more smaller products that are hard and clay products um, that are very hard. And so that's what we recommend the, uh, the gray blade or hard material one blade for. Um, and again, it's almost like you need to test different things uh, for the products in your market because honestly, if you start thinking about the differences in material out there, I mean, there's tens of thousands of different things uh, to cut out there. Um, so not one blade cannot cut it all. So you have to find the right blade to match it with the material um, to your machine and horsepower and RPM. So that's what we've tried to do as, as best as possible with uh, extensive testing here at IQ. So the next blade we can talk about is the HM2, the hard material two blade. And this was really to, for a larger products, um, even larger, harder materials, um, parts of the country, for example, like up in the uh, Northwest, they have some very hard aggregate. This is a particular paver from the Northwest that we were having trouble cutting. And so this blade was really uh, designed for that material. Here is some material, you may call it bluestone or you may call it uh, whatever you do in your region. But again, a very hard material, larger uh, pieces. So. This would be a good blade, blade for that uh, application. We are constantly developing blades. Uh, I mean, we're doing testing with our tile saw blades. We're doing testing with our 16.5 uh, inch blades. Um, this is one of the blades we're currently, that we have in test that's doing really well. It's a, an M segment blade. Um, it's something that uh, we're trying to develop something that does well with our hardest hardest material, you know, some uh, old precast uh, concrete products. You know, this is some brutally hard uh, black granite. Um, and it's really tough because the IQ MS362 is limited by amps. I mean, that's our limiting factor. And in the best case scenario, we have 20 amps. And so you want the blade to cut as, uh, you know, as best as possible with 20 amps. And honestly, when you start getting and cutting this type of material, some really large uh, format concrete products, 
uh, you know, 20 amps is really on the low side. Um, if you start looking at machines out there that are running, you know, gas powered, you know, 10, 13 horsepower machines to cut this type of stuff. And we're trying to do it, you know, with relatively a small amount of uh, energy. So that's why the, the development of these blades is real critical. We try to do as much as possible with the uh, electrical supply that we have. Um, but you'll be learning more about this blade in the future as we uh, finish up the testing and uh, roll it out and, and show you guys what it's, uh, what it's made for and what we'll, it'll be successful with. So again, we love your guys' questions. Just wanted to give you an overview of the blades we currently have available. We have other blades uh, for the 362 that are coming. Um, you know, we're currently in test on the porcelain blade. So that is a blade that we'll be cutting for your 20 millimeter porcelain. Um, and just love your guys' feedback and questions and we'll try to answer them as best we can. Thank you very much.